Hi Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Aquarius, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. Hope you guys are all well. And today, Aquarius, we're going to do your reading a little bit different because, you know, we can't stand routine. No, it is, it is for the death of us. Yes, it is. And uh, so we're switching up a little bit. We also have new cards here. Yeah, we do some uh, new <coughs> oracle cards. And the first card you have is a Tarsier, and I don't know if this is a real animal or a mythical animal. I'm going to really be honest with you guys, but uh, this is a, an animal deck, right? And this is gentle, sensitive, and ancient awareness. So, you know, the, the moon is here, almost like you have some type of, you know, intuition and that you're trusting it, right? The rooster is showing up, confident, passionate, and courageous acceptance. And I feel like you are accepting something because we have the closing the door card, right? Yeah, and uh, this is completion. This is an ending. And interestingly enough, uh, and these, you know, came out spontaneously, the moon maiden card, a new beginnings. So you're completing something and you have a new beginning. You also have Isis and Osiris, and this is love. Yeah, these are the lovers here. I feel like they are Egyptian, but <clears throat> let's have a look here. And if we can read it, right, because, God, they're so small here, right? And uh, let's see what we got. Let's look at the lovers, and it is always the number six in the major arcana. And let's see what it says. It says, love, harmony, passion, and sensuality. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see what it also says. The myth of, this is Greek mythology, you guys. I think I feel like, yeah. And it says, Isis and Osir. Not all of it's Greek, though. Some of it is, uh, Tristan and Isolde are not Greeks. No, they're not, or they weren't. <coughs> it was about, it was a myth about them, though, right? And the myth of Isis and Osiris illustrates the power of love and how it can transform us ir irrevocably. Isis and Osiris were blissful in their love for each other. Jealousy ate at their brother, set soul, granting him no rest. He trapped Osiris in a coffin and oh, and put him into the Nile River. Yeah, using the power of her love, the goddess brought Osiris back to life for a final embrace. Wow. So, you know, Isis was the, you know, she was the one who brought back Osiris for a final hug, and I guess this is their. This could be their final hug, their final embrace, right? But uh, the brother was so jealous that you know he put Osiris in a coffin, and you know uh, that stuff. I mean, not putting somebody in a coffin, but that happens in in families that it does sometimes, right? Maybe somebody. Maybe you're in dealing with an, uh, a uh, a dysfunctional family, right? No judgment, though, here. We don't we do not do that, right? Yeah, nobody has a perfect family anyway, right? <clears throat> it's interesting how people with money, sometimes they'll act like they have a perfect family. You're like, what? I know about that and that and that. So shut up. Okay, you don't know that I know, but I know. <laughs> so let's get into it, you guys. And we're going to have the gypsy spread here as well uh, that we're going to complete in the extended reading. And let's look at your, your energy first, Aries. Four of Swords, Queen of Wands. High Priestess, Two of Cups. So you're afraid you're not going to have some type of a union here with the Two of Cups in your energy here. The shared energy. Let's look at the shared energy with you and this person. I'm going to just take this card, the Hermit card. This could simply be soul searching, right? Let's see their energy in the past, a recent past. King of Swords, they have the Ten of Cups. What they want is the Four of Wands reversed, and they're carrying the Ten of Wands here in their fear. So this is definitely a breakup or a completion or an ending. Four of Wands reversed with the Ten of Wands. I mean, you're, you're shutting the door on your person. That's how it looks here, Aquarius. All right? <laughs> Sorry about the, uh, the yard work, you guys. I can't really help it. No. But if he continues, the extended reading might have to be inside, right? Yeah. So let's see here. Uh, let's look at your energy, Aquarius. You have the Four of Swords reversed, the Knight of Wands. So you have, like, the Queen of Wands in this reading. I just feel like there's a water sign here, too. An Aries or Sag 
and a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Because we have Pisces, the, hey, the High Priestess, who could be Scorpio too, right? And we have the Moon, who is, you know, the Moon is Pisces or Cancer. So, I just feel like in the past... You could have felt restless. I, you could have felt restless about somebody. And it might have made somebody doubt you or, you know. And also, you could have just reflected a lot on taking action to go to go be with somebody. Yeah, Six of Cups, somebody from your past. You see? You see, see? <laughs> Let's look at your, your desire. It looks like it is uh, the High Priestess. This could be a secret, though. Sometimes this is somebody who is unknown. Sometimes somebody people know about secrets, but you guys don't sit and talk about them, right? Well, remember when you, you know, you had that girl and, you know, some, we don't always, like, if that happens in our union, we're not, sometimes people don't talk about it. It gets, it gets, you know, kind of forgiven and moved on, move on about it. It can be that kind of secret here. We have the Empress here. This is your energy right now. This is your desire. <clears throat> I feel like in the past you had a secret here. Maybe that person was a fire sign or a water sign. Maybe an air sign. This is you, though, Aquarius. It is the king of swords. Pretty sure that's you. And in the past, I just feel like you had an empress, like somebody kind of on the side. I feel like you did uh, with this three of, uh, with the empress. I feel like you had some type of a new start with them. Or you valued them. Yeah, maybe you didn't even have, maybe you didn't have, like, I feel like you valued somebody in the past, and your fear is the Two of Cups. Yeah, you did, because the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands, you could be fearing if you don't change your, your situation, like your, your marital status or your, you know, your single status, whatever you want to call it, uh, you could be like losing out on somebody. Because I feel like right here, Two of Cups, Eight of Wands, or you, know, or you could just be, maybe this could be your doubts or your fears, you could just... Uh, you could be fearing somebody doesn't either want to wait for you or you could just really want change too. And you could be fearing here uh, if you don't make some changes, possibly, you know, let's see, King of Cups. Mm -hmm. This is your doubt or your fear. Six of Wands. I'm going to take this uh, card here. And this is... I feel like you're afraid somebody knows here that you want change. Maybe you're afraid how they're going to handle it. Maybe you're, you're fearing here that they're not going to overcome the situation. This could be you, though, also just kind of fearing here that if I don't make changes, I'm not going to have the Two of Cups with somebody. But like I said, like at first, like if I don't change my, you know, my status, I'm not going to be with so-and-so, right? And the, and the shared energy here is the Hermit and we have the World card. And this is about somebody who's soul searching or going deep or looking for the truth about, for me, ending a new cycle, uh, right? We have completion, closing the door, and, you know, Moon Maiden, the new beginnings. So that's what this World, world card is. This is like achieving a dream, but it's also ending a cycle. And we have the uh, Knight of Swords, and this could be you, but the shared energy here is, I feel like you are thinking about closing the door on your situation, and they are thinking that too. Or they are thinking that you're going to do this, or maybe they're going to walk away first, something like that. But you guys are both thinking about the same things, ending a cycle. And their energy is the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And uh, in the past... I feel like there was third party in the past, six of pentacles and the death card. This could have been, this could say that uh, maybe in the past you made a decision here, king of swords, six of pentacles, the death card. You made a decision, uh, you know, possibly, yeah, between this person and somebody else. Or you made a decision, right, to like end something because you wanted to share with somebody else. This is all about sharing, right? And bringing balance, a give and take union, the Six of Pentacles. And it could be in the, your person's, and you know, like it's showing up right here in their energy. Like they know. That's in the recent past. They have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So here they are. This could be you again in their energy. But 
uh, they are discerning either their marriage, the Ten of Cups, or this could be about them kind of discerning, like, for me, with next to the King of Swords, like, they think you could be moving on for your happily ever after. This could be them about their kids, though, right? Like, their family. You might have a family with this person. I feel like you do with the... Oh, you could, right? Yeah, I thought this is not the Ten of Pentacles here, but Ten of Cups here. Uh, and the Four of Wands is right here next to it. And this is, you know, also a marriage card. Let's see what else we have. And what they want is the Four of Wands and Judgment. The Four of Wands is reversed. This person wants a second chance with you, I feel. I also feel like they're just, this could just be simply saying they're carrying a burden here about you. I feel like you want a reunion with somebody. Yeah, for sure. Judgment and the Six of Cups here. This is why you're moving on. You're in love with somebody over here. And maybe you feel like you need to, like, you need to rescue yourself from this situation. Kind of, because that's what Isis and Osiris, Osiris was. It was about two people who loved each other and like a rescue. Mm -hmm. And somebody who was really, really jealous. Maybe there's somebody really jealous in this reading. Yeah, it's interesting how these stories sometimes can match the, uh, the situation. Two of Pentacles. Your person just wants to know if you're reuniting with somebody and it's really burdening them. Yeah, and maybe they are wanting to know if you're reuniting with somebody, reuniting with somebody specific. And then they have the six, the five of pentacles. Yeah, they're really carrying a burden here because you're going to leave them out. It's really, uh, really hard for them, all right? I don't like that word burden. Just don't like it. I think there's a singer with the animals, Eric Burden. <laughs> yeah, he's a famous singer and uh, I can't think of the songs. He's out of the 60s. He was, uh, he was famous, yeah. So let's see what we have, you guys. Let's start the, uh, the gypsy spread. Aquarius, because you're a gypsy, yeah, with a huge knife. Yeah, you are the sword. So let's see what we have, you guys. And the heart of the matter is the house in the past, frivolity. We have the old woman coming in here. This is not. This is somebody from the past. That's what the old woman is, like somebody in your past or wisdom. And the obstacle in this reading is somebody from your past because the Six of Cups is here. So the obstacle is the messenger. This is an offer of love that's blocking your union. The surprise is going to be the outcome. We're going to go to the extended. We are uh, Aquarius, right? And uh, we're going to finish this reading, right? And we're also going to look at the underlying energies between you. What's crowning your person's thoughts? And what's in their environment? Maybe it's their emotional environment, right? But what you don't know about them, what they might be hiding or kind of, you know, keeping kind of unknown. And their true intentions or their outcome, they're all super affordable. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless everybody.